episode of The Sims 4. I'm sorry I have not made a video in one whole week. Um, simply, it was the Christmas uh, season, and I had to go away um, from where I'm living to go visit my family. So, in turn of that, um, I basically was not able to make videos, um, s which sucks because I really wish I pre-filmed a bunch of videos um, before I left because that would have been an ideal situation and I could have posted some videos for everyone while I was away on holidays. But I have forgotten, um, so like you see I'm doing right now, I'm taking all of the Christmas decorations down. I could leave them up, because I'm not going to lie, I still have my Christmas tree up. I do know some people, friends, and probably family-wise, um, they've probably already gotten rid of their Christmas decorations around their house. Um, yeah. But for this LP, I'm just going to start by taking everything away now. Uh, where we left off, I'm not exactly sure if this was on camera, but uh, the reason why Dylan is very sad is because he has witnessed the death of a friend. Um, let me jump in here for a minute, I'm trying to think of which friend it was. Um, I think it was Manuel. Uh, that had passed away while he was at the park. I'm not sure if that was captured on film the last time um, that I uh, filmed. But that is why Dylan is very sad. He is gross because he had to use a public uh, toilet, but he's at work right now, and so is Cassandra. So right now we just have the girls and little Octavio home. Um, so yeah, I believe we were still trying to work on an Octavio relationship with Hobart, so I'm going to try to see if I can invite him to come over. Um, with a week of me not filming videos, I was having issues playing in my off-camera house and had to restart, um, a lot of my LPs. I'm very thankful that I did have... A background copy of the this LP saved on file because we would have had to start over and yeah um, I do have get together and I'm still wondering um, whether or not to completely restart uh, this let's play or should I just continue on let me know down in the comments down below what you would like me to do Thank you, Holbert, for just walking straight into my house. Um, we're going to go brighten his day. Um, so let me know down in the comments uh, whether you would like me to re uh, start a new LP. Or do you basically want me to just keep going with this one? Um, I'm not sure exactly what to do. Looks like Hobart was also possibly affected by the death of that person so right now we might just want to console him about the death possibly no maybe um i am still having issues i guess uh we will brighten his day she has to go to work in one hour uh, let's try to console about death again. Where are you going? So she's kind of giving him a pat on the shoulder, saying, I'm sorry to hear about the loss of your friend or whoever. Um, we're going to have a deep conversation with him because he's still quite sad. Uh, we are going to compliment his outfit. Um, we are going to tell an engaging story. Uh, 
Like I said, we are still trying to work on getting the relationship up with him. Um, we are definitely not going to spread a nasty rumor. He is happy now, so that is good. We have definitely cheered him up. Oh, she's just telling a massive story. Trying to keep his spirits up, trying to keep him happy. Um, take a photo together. Um, maybe. Um, is there another way we could possibly take a photo? Um, take a photo with. Boy. Oh, Bart. Ah. Or the other. Oh, oh, he's getting orange juice or drinking orange juice. Oh, I guess we're not getting a photo. <laughs> She's heading off to work. Um, we're gonna discuss interest with his brother or her. She's off to work now. So here are the children. They just became good friends with one another. Um, trying to see if there's anything they want to do together. He wants to reference pop culture. Gonna reference pop culture. Wants to watch some comedy. Um, <clears throat> How was everybody's Christmas? How was everybody's holidays? If you do not celebrate it, because I do realize there are people on my channel that possibly you do not celebrate Christmas. Family with Tasha, buy a toy and go on vacation. She's very tense. She needs to do some programming for work. So I'm just gonna get her to do that. Um, make a virus, I guess. Tavio really needs to do his homework. So does Lily Anna. Cassandra's talking to her son. Um, let's see if we can ooh, see if we can talk to this guy. Uh, we're gonna give him a friendly introduction. Yanavi. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound like I am under the weather. I uh, somehow managed to catch a cold or something during my holidays. Um, we are going to accept the return. So she's not having really good time talking to Hobart. Probably wondering why, like, he's at the house when Tasha is no longer, like, not even home. I think he's leaving now. Because, like, I don't know. I guess uh, Cassandra and Dylan, they're not really used to or ready for their daughter, Tasha, to have a relationship. Like, she's still young. They th she Basically, the parents... Um, think base that uh, Tasha should focus more on her like schooling and you know stuff like that instead of focusing on boys. Um, and instead, Tasha's basically like, I want a boyfriend, mom. Like, we all know how we were, we're like teenagers. Um, so that's how Tasha thinks. Like, Tasha wants a boyfriend. She wants to fit in with a lot of her friends. 
and in turn like she is trying to focus on school she's trying to focus on her life but at the same time like she's young she wants to have fun while like instead of doing what her parents want her to do um Dylan's now home. He needs to eat, so I'm going to get him to serve some fish and chips. Cause like he's not young, but he does like to cook. Um, Lily Anna, I think's going to bed. Tavio's also going to go to bed. So Cassandra's just going to be here. Um, we're going to see if Cassandra is. Pregnant, because I do recall in last episode we did get her pregnant. Possibly, they did a little fun, woohoo fun, and it's very possible that the reason why Cassandra is so tense is that she's wondering what they're gonna do if she is pregnant. This is only a two-bedroom house or a three-bedroom house, um, and she is pregnant, so that's the issue here. We are in a three-bedroom house, and now Cassandra is pregnant. Where are we going to put the other child? They only have 8,000... Um... 8,771 simoleons. So... The question is, what are we going to do? Like, we don't have space for another baby. Um... I don't believe we can add on to this house at all like we could possibly make it upstairs if i could figure out how but like exactly like what are we supposed to do now like we need to work we need to save up our money because now we have a lot of a lot of children um for some reason he did not eat that and get her to grab a serving like we don't have the space <laughs> so we might have to look and see if we can borrow some money, possibly. And we need to have a conversation with the children um, on just how things may have to be worked around within the household. Um, because now we only have 8,000, like, well, now we just got 8,963 simoleons. But at the same time, like, we already have three children, and we are now pregnant with one more. Um, so, this is quite a tight house, so what are we supposed to do now? Like, <laughs> where are we going to put the other child? Um, this is not a big house, we do not have the income, the simoleons, I shall say, to basically add on to this house, or move. So, like, what are we supposed to do? Like, look at the look on, when she looks at her husband, she's just like, what are we supposed to do now? Like... Even Dylan, like, Dylan looks horrible. He's so upset. Um, he's just lost his friend. Now finds out his wife is pregnant. Like, ugh, life is getting difficult. Um, so they're all gonna talk. Eat their fish and chips by Dylan. Uh, for some reason, he's just learning now traits about his wife, which I'm not exactly sure why. He should already know his wife. Um, but I guess it comes with all the other glitches that are within our game. Any mail? Nope. Um, we're gonna get her to come over here and dance. <laughs> Dylan's gonna clean up. He is still very sad. He's going to blog about his feelings. Because Tasha has gained the dance skill. That is one of the new things that has come with uh, Get Together. Um, if anybody has not already noticed. Uh, Cassandra's going to head to bed. She's had a long day. So Tasha's just going to continue dancing. Um gonna collect a new crystal send a happy text uh we are gonna send a happy text to hobart dylan has acquired the writing skill we will allow him to join the benefits of an expanded vocabulary and grammatically correct his sentences 
So we're going to send her a text to Hobart, a happy text. Um, okay, so we're just going to continue dancing. What is this icon? Grateful customer. If it's true that the customer is always right, then the boss's opinion doesn't matter. That's, I guess, true. I'm trying to get her fun up. She needs hygiene as well. So we're gonna send her for a quick shower. Dylan is still blogging about his feelings. Uh, what is this one? Be mischievous. We're going to listen deeply to music. See if that helps with his mood. Speed up time a little bit. Come on, listen deeply to some music. There we go. He does need to use the washroom. Um, but I think he can't because his daughter. He just walked in on her. Okay, so now I use that. <laughs> Hold on, or hurry, hurry up. Hurry up. Like, they really need a bigger house. I've been saying that in many parts now. Um, because there is only one bathroom for the whole family. So she can go to sleep now. I want Dylan to come use the toilet. Um, he also has to do hygiene. I guess he's gonna have a shower now. <laughs> I was gonna get him to do that in the morning, but I guess he's decided he needs to have a shower now. Um, oh, I guess he didn't go take a shower. Or did he? I don't even know. He fell asleep in the toilet. Um, he's gonna go to sleep now. shower. They all have something to eat, even though, is it expired? No. Oh, it expired in one hour, because nobody put the food in the fridge last night. I think what I want to do in this part is send the kids to get um, new outfits. I'm going to send a happy text to Nevea. <laughs> he's still gonna be sad for 19 hours. When he's done that, I want him to this
wonder, are the kids like really good friends with one another? Yeah, they're good friends. That's pretty good. Um, Dylan. I'm gonna get Dylan to call the Sadness Hot back. I can't even speak. Um, the Sadness Hot Hotline. Octavio is going to play with that. I'm trying to think. Can he? Um, clan outfits. Um, in the new Get Together expansion pack, I believe the children received new onesies, I believe. Um, let me see. Where would I find the onesies? Here they are. Um, so we have a giraffe. We have a dinosaur one. We have cats. We have a pink one. We have space. We have rainbow. Um, desert, red, purple, green, light blue, and dark blue. Uh, but I think I'm going to give her the giraffe uh, onesie. And then for her brother, we're going to give him the um, dinosaur one. So this is what they will be wearing now when they go to sleep. Because I think that is adorable. Or adorable. Um, so yeah. <laughs> load back into the game. I wish EA and The Sims would get rid of uh, the loading screens. All right. Make a friend, finish extra credit. <laughs> Fifteen hours? Come on. Keep calling the sadness all in. Um Look at Liliana here, just getting down with the get down. I think we need to clean up a little bit. Sandra is having a bath. Dylan is still upset. I'm gonna get him to come over here and take a nap. She's feeling pretty damn good about herself. Um, she's hungry. Come over here and open. We apparently have no meals ready. Um, surf breakfast. We will make some omelet. him to smash. She needs to take her back. So he's smashing the pumpkin. He's been spinning in his inventory way too long. Um, so we'll just let him have the joy of doing that. Um, if I were to continue doing this as our LP for Get Together. I was thinking of joining um, League of Adventures for both um, Octavio and Lily Anna. Um, as far as I know, that's the only one that the children, the only club for children. <laughs> or if you want, suggest um, down below in the comments if there is any club names that you think that I could name like for the children like they could start their own club um just let me know give me some suggestions for some names and i could possibly do that what's this maplet smashing pumpkins fight the establishment smash pumpkins so for four plus hours uh make a friend is there any children around 
Um, I don't think there is. I was thinking in this park over here, I may add a jungle gym or something. Um, unless, I guess we'll go visit Nevea by ourselves. <laughs> But I'm thinking in the park by their house, I'm going to add a jungle gym and some monkey bars just so that we have somewhere to go, um, you know, like closer to home. Because, I don't know, sometimes we, uh, adults, even in real life, we don't always want our children to go farther than where our eyes can see. Um, so I just think it'd be nice to add some stuff. And that's the great thing about The Sims 4, I believe, compared to a lot of the other Sim franchise, that you can pretty much add whatever you want to the community lots. Okay. So we're here to visit Nevea. I'm not exactly sure where Nevea is. By the door. Where's Nevea? Knock on door. Where did Octavio go? Get back here. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna come here and say hello. the front door was like here I guess not <laughs> so this is Nevaeh's house um is he friends with Nevaeh yet not really uh well I guess they're going to become friends now oh there we go okay. so we gotta find Nevaeh is quite a big house. Like, look at how big this house is. Uh, Nevea, where are you? Nevea is over here. So we're <coughs> come over here and give her a heartfelt compliment. <coughs> <coughs> I believe her mother is an assistant nurse at the local hospital, so they can afford this big, massive house. Um. are you going? Okay. I'm having like major glitches, I guess. What? Okay, so he's gonna talk to the mother, even though it's not who I wanted him to talk to. <laughs> So yes, this is like a very beautiful house that I downloaded off the gallery. Um, go here. Okay, child. Bright and day. get off the computer. Um, we'll joke about weird animals. Talk about toys. Talk about school. What else can we do? Um, do an impression. I think 
they're getting along quite well. She is a music lover. Um, he's a cheerful child, so they should get along. Like, he should be able to make friends, quite simple. Um, <laughs> they don't like the llama. What is that? Don't wake the llama game. Ooh. I think that came with get together. Oh, I'm not sure exactly where he's going now. Must be going to play in her room. Wow, this is a nice room for a child. Like, holy. So he just went to grab a toy. <laughs> so they're still getting to know each other. Um, pop culture reference. Discuss interests. Where'd she go? Okay, go here. Is there a chance that you could possibly use her toilet? Oh, Nevea has her own bathroom as well. I think um, it is possible that maybe Octavia was jealous and wishes that he had all this. Um, where did she go? Apparently she's in the exercise room. Um, goof around. animal. Cautiously pester. <laughs> I always love that interaction. Um, quote a cartoon character. the TV for a minute. Um, uh, make a silly face. They make believe. Booby nerds. You threw ya. And I believe I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I believe we've been filming for longer than 15 minutes. Um, like I said, I have terrible, like, I don't know. I guess I really miss playing The Sims. And, yeah, I was excited to get back into it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.